to this construction cloud, also known as ACC, is now the standard when it comes to using Revit on the cloud. However, it can be quite confusing. There are a lot of different product names, different subscriptions, different things you must do in order to access the cloud. So this video aims to simplify everything and teach you in very simple terms how to get started with ACC for your Revit Cloud projects. Now I'm going to talk about the pros of using ACC. What are the benefits? The first one is the idea of a distributed team. So you can have team members working all around the world on the same files in the cloud easily. There are no more local servers needed to host your Revit files. So in theory, you could save some money with uh, IT management of your servers. It's easier for collaborators. So if you have BIM consultants helping you on a project, you can give them access to the cloud instead of playing back and forth of sending files over or trying to give them VPN access. Smoother collaboration with the different disciplines, or architecture, structure, and MEP. They don't have to send the files through WeTransfer or some sort of FTP. Everything is on ACC. And then markups. If you have project managers that want to annotate the plans, you don't have to give them access to Revit anymore. You don't have to print a PDF set every time. Uh, they can do the markups directly on the ACC, even though if even if they don't have a Revit license. Then the clash detection. Uh, ACC includes automated clash detection between different disciplines, uh, making it much easier for you. Then there are the ACC apps. There are lots of third-party apps on ACC that can do a lot for you. Permissions, you can control who sees or can create or modify files, Revit models. For example, you could say the MEP engineer can see and link the architecture models, but they cannot open it or delete the files directly. Then there are the backups and versioning of each file. So each time there's a Revit model, there are backups for each sync and you keep different versions. Although you should still keep still keep a local backup every once in a while. Then there's the single source of truth, which means you know the model on ACC is the latest one. So you don't have to wonder where is the most recent file? Where can I find the source of all information? Then there's the web access. You can go to the field and with your phone, you can access to ACC. Uh, markups the files directly from there so you have always up-to-date access to your projects. Now let's talk about some problems from the cons of working with ACC. The first one, the most obvious, is the cost. You need to pay an extra license to work with Revit work shared cloud models. The second one is training. On top of doing Revit training, you now have to do ACC training. Uh, the third one is confusing Autodesk jargon. What I mean by that is that there are lots of names of Autodesk products uh, different services, different subscription licenses, there are different teams working on different things. So understanding everything is a bit complex and you kind of have to sort through that. Although this video kind of tries to help in that regard. Then you have internet dependency. If your internet crashes, you lose access to uh, the cloud models. Data security. If you're working on confidential projects, uh, prisons, military projects. Uh, for some of you, using ACC might be an unstarter because of these data constraints. Then there are the outages. Every once in a while, Autodesk servers will crash and you will lose access to your Revit model on the cloud. So you have to think about that. It might last for 15 minutes, sometimes a few hours. Then there's the vendor lock-in. Uh, you might be already kind of dependent on Autodesk for your projects. You'll be even more if you start using ACC. Uh, there's the interoperability concern. If you want to work with different kind of files, IFC or Archicad, other file types, it can work with ACC, but it's kind of an extra layer of thing you have to consider if uh, all your files are hosted on ACC. Overall, I think the benefits of ACC outweigh the cons, but it's still good to think about them. BIM 360 and ACC are basically the same thing. ACC is poised to completely replace BIM 360. It has a few more features. For example, you can use Bridge to link a Revit model from another ACC project. And also it includes more products for construction and pre-construction. When you are on the web interface of ACC, you can see your full list of projects. And projects with a sphere icon are on ACC. And projects with a B are on BIM360. So my recommendation, any new project, you should create them on ACC. But it's okay if you have existing projects on BIM360. Most features are exactly the same. ACC is a vast ecosystem of different products for different customers at different price points. In our case, we're going to focus on ACC products made specifically for design. The key ACC products for design professionals are Autodesk Docs, Design Collaboration, 
model coordination and the desktop connector. When you are logged in on Autodesk Construction Cloud, if you click on the upper left inside of a project, you can see these different modules over here, Docs, Design Collaboration and Model Coordination. Let's go to Autodesk Docs. Docs is the place where you create all the folders and subfolders of your project, similar to what you can do on your local network. This is also where the Revit files are going to be placed and you can control the different versions, you can access the backups, you can enter the file to do some annotations, markup, or even assign issues. And these files can also be shared to people outside of your organization. The desktop connector is an optional desktop app that you can install. You don't have to do it, but if you're a Revit user and you plan to link some files such as CAD files, it is good to install that app what this does is similar to Google Drive, for example. It creates a Windows folder for your project that is exactly the same as the one that we just saw on the web from Autodesk Docs. So you can access all the files, you can see the different versions, you can paste file from your Windows Explorer there, and it will automatically sync to Autodesk Docs. Now let's go to the design collaboration module. This is where you can see the timeline of all published Revit model. This is where you can access the federated project model with all disciplines. And this is where you can set the permissions for all the different teams. You can set the folder structure. You can set, for example, the landscape team only see this specific folder and they can create a file or maybe only access and view the files from other teams. And finally, model coordination is the place that you go for clash detection mostly, although there are some other features as well. Now let's talk about pricing and subscription licenses. Since ACC is a big ecosystem of different products for different customers, there are no single price point. You have to find the right subscription. There are subscriptions for contractors and for uh, construction products. In your case, the one that you want to get is BIM Collaborate or BIM Collaborate Pro that gives you access to all the modules to the products we've just mentioned. Now we're going to have a look at the different subscriptions that you need to use Revit Work Shared Cloud Models using ACC. First, you need a Revit subscription. So these are the prices as of June 2024. You can have a look uh, to make sure these prices are up to date. First, Revit itself as a standalone costs $2,910 per year. If you get it part of the AC collection, which includes uh, 3DS, AutoCAD, Forma, Navisworks, and more, it will cost you $3,560 per year. Then you need to get BIM Collaborate Pro, which gives you access to all the products I've mentioned, which is our design collaboration and model coordination. Autodesk Docs is already included with Revit itself. However, you cannot use Revit WorkShare Cloud Model if you don't have access to the design collaboration model. So the total cost if you want to use Revit on the cloud with WorkShare projects will cost you $3,845 with Revit only and $4,505 with the AC collection. This is in US dollars. Now let's talk about the different option for a project manager that doesn't want to use Revit, but that wants to access uh, the files on the cloud to annotate them, assign markups and issues. The two different options are Autodesk Docs and BIM Collaborate with a slight price difference. BIM Collaborate does include Autodesk Docs and also it includes access to design collaboration and model coordination. So you can have access to the clash detection feature and to design collaboration where you can prepare packages for transmission and also access the federated model. So in that case, since the price difference is quite small in most cases, a project manager should subscribe to BIM Collaborate. To recap, what you need to get started with ACC for Revit projects First, you need to get all the licenses that you need. You need to be subscribed to Revit and to BIM Collaborate Pro, and the licenses needs to be assigned to you, to the individual named user. Secondly, the project need to be created on ACC, on the web interface. And then the design collaboration module should be active. When all of that is done, you can create and access Revit work shared projects that are stored on ACC. Here, inside of Revit, I'm going to Autodesk Docs, I'm picking a project going to the Revit folder and I can see the work shared cloud models here. I can see the latest uh, modification, the latest publish date, and I can access the version history to see when were the latest syncs, as well as the comments. Now, I'm going to explain the difference between a work shared and a non-work shared project. 
A work shared a cloud model means that different users are working at the same time on the same Revit project on the cloud. And that requires both Revit and the BIM Collaborate Pro license. However, without that BIM Collaborate Pro license, you can still use the cloud with a single user working on a single Revit model at the same time. So if you're a solo practitioner doing small houses, for example, you can still use the cloud with your Revit subscription. Now, inside of Revit, if you want to save this file as a single cloud project, you go to Save As and select Cloud Model. So this is for a non-work shared Revit cloud model that only a single user can modify at the same time. However, if you want to create a Revit work shared cloud project, you must go to Collaborate and select uh, Collaborate here and select within in the cloud is going to create work sets. You can sync, close it down, and then you can invite multiple team members or collaborators to access this Revit cloud model. The goal of this video was to help you understand ACC, but we have planned a series of live master classes with different experts to help you understand all the features and use them with your projects. The first one will be on July 3rd and is going to be all about the basic setup. So creating teams, adding your teammates, creating the Revit projects, publishing, adding markups and issues. The second session is going to be on July 8th and it's going to be about a linked model and the coordinate system. The third session is going to be on July 10th with Dan Warren, an expert of ACC and is going to be about clash detection issues and permissions as well as ACC templates. And the final session is going to be on July 15 with Benjamin Dufault from CIMA Plus. It's going to be about ACC for MEP and about coordination between the different disciplines such as structure and architecture. You can watch these session lives or you can watch the replay and that is all available with the BIM Pure subscription. So to learn more, click the link in the video description. Thank you.